All right, everybody, welcome back to System Test 6 with my Kitty FX-64 Fire Alarm Control Panel. This test is gonna be featuring a mix of Faraday and EST devices. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So this is the pulse station that I switched out for this test. This is a Faraday 10123-2, and this pulse station is actually special as it has two sets of contacts on the back. Today, we're gonna to be pulling this. All right, if we move up a spot here on the board, we have this. This is an EST Genesis strobe, and I believe it is fixed 75 candela. And the second notification appliance I'll be showing today is this. This is a Faraday 6226-W. So for this test, we're gonna be doing a walk test, and while we're in walk test, we're gonna test the Faraday pull station, the EST pull station, and the smoke detector, and then we'll get out of walk test, reset the system, and to end the video, we'll put the system into regular fire alarm mode by activating the Faraday pulse station. So let's get started. So for those who don't know, walk test allows fire alarm inspectors to walk around the building and test all the pulse stations, the smoke detectors, and other initiating devices without having to walk back to the fire alarm control panel and silence and reset it every time. So to put this fire alarm control panel into walk test, we're going to go ahead and go into our settings. We're gonna uh, scroll down to test. We're gonna select walk test audible, and then all devices, and then start. And then once we wanna end walk test, we'll just push enter again, and that will end it. And then also we can go ahead and acknowledge the panel. As we can see here, the panel will also give us a test light and then a trouble light. These two lights indicate that the panel is in walk test. So how this is going to work is I'm going to key activate this pull station and then the alarms should sound for a few seconds and when you're an inspector in the building hearing the alarms go off for a few seconds indicates that the panel did receive the alarm from the pull station and it's working. So we're going to go ahead and do this on this pull station. Here we go. ahead and pop the cover back. All right, now we'll go ahead and key activate the Faraday pull station, or should I say hex wrench activate. <laughs> so go ahead, take it, twist it open. I believe it's this way. The lock on this pull station is a little bit worn out. And opening it up will set it off. ahead and lock it back up again and we'll move on to that smoke detector. All right and to test out the smoke detector we'll just use some canned smoke Solo A4. Here we go. It's probably too much. And there we go. Now we know all the devices are working. All right, now back at the panel, we can go ahead and acknowledge it, and we'll go ahead and end our, our walk test just by pressing end. And now the panel is uh, resetting, and we can also see um, all the devices that activated, and if we press into them, it'll show a little bit more information about them. All right, and for the last part of the video, we'll go ahead and initiate a normal fire alarm signal just by pulling this Faraday pull station right here. Here we go. In three, two, one. And yes, both notification appliances have audible silence because this is a four-wire device and this is just a two-wire strobe. 
So we can go ahead and give a system a reset. I switched to my phone camera because this camera decided to run out of memory. There's a lot of videos on it I haven't deleted yet. And also, fun fact, this is actually normally how long it takes for the system to reset. I normally edit it out so it looks like it only takes a couple seconds for the system to reset. It normally takes about 30 seconds. So, as you just saw, maybe 20. But yeah, that was system test 6 with this panel, the Kitty FX-64. Thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.